Yeah. Yeah, right at yeah. Hey, what's up? Chaz here. We're in Louisville, Kentucky for Cyclocross Nationals. That's right, it's that time of year again. We're gonna see who is the best in the business in American Cyclocross, and we are gonna hang out with Katie Klaus. She was on Cannondale Cyclocross with Stu, if you remember the Stu of Cyclocross. Now she's with STF Racing. So let's go find Katie Klaus and see what makes her faster. Yeah, yeah, right at the yeah. All right, we just got done watching the collegiate relay race. Katie Klaus was the the closer. Is that what you call it? The closer? The anchor. I the think. anchor. So for collegiate, we do like the varsity <laughs> races yesterday, and then we do the relay today, and it's like kind of all part of an omnium. Yeah. So our team won the overall like omnium championship, yeah. which is super cool. Um, but yeah, so the relay, it's we have four people, two girls, two guys. So coming from the road. Do you find there's a big difference in like the training and like kind of the program that you're running? Cause obviously you're going from multi-hour races with the team to like one hour, like high intensity yeah. efforts. Like, can you just kind of walk me through what the change would have been? I do a lot of different training for cross than I yeah. do for road. Obviously it's a lot more endurance and longer base um, for road. And cross I do a lot more like shorter, but like it, a lot of intensity through the week. hundred percent. Cause um, you gotta have that, you gotta yeah. be able to hit that red line just yeah. constantly. Which I honestly, I love. Yeah, you're into it? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I like the more intense like workouts in like the four to five hours. So you're, are you, you cool with intervals? You're like a friend yes. of intervals. Cause most yes. people that's obviously like their no. least favorite, but you're like, bring it on. No, I like intervals. All right, a little muddy out there? Yes, very muddy. You stoked on it though? <laughs> I'm so stoked. <laughs> Excellent. Can you give me a quick rundown of the bike you'll be racing on? This is my Trek Boon. Um, I've got the 303 Firecrest tubulars going. It's got the SRAM red. Not the one by right here. Why yep. the why the one by? I mean, it used to be two by. Now everyone's yeah, one by. Yeah, I've right. just always preferred the one by. It's yeah. great. It's reliable, like the whole bike is. But yeah, I I definitely think it helps with chain drops and all that. So yeah, it's been great. So there's a little there's a little chain catcher in there just in yeah. case. And so you were racing Zips with Cannondale Cyclocross, mm -hmm. and now you're back on Zips. Yeah. Um, are you pretty excited to be back? Yes, it's by far my favorite um i've always had such good reliability with yeah. it you know i've really never had any issues at all and so like it's been perfect like i never have to worry about oh you know what if i'm only leaving by the 20 seconds and i need that extra time yeah. no yeah yeah i've always been so confident in my equipment and it's been great yeah so i usually run around like 18 19 is my go-to pressure yeah. I've ran as low as 11, 12 PSI. <laughs> so, I mean, to be able to run that low is like, obviously it's so important yeah. in the race that you're doing if you need to run that low. And so to be able to do that and not have any like, any issues with the wheels at all. It's just so awesome. Cause you're, you're touching rim. Yeah. We're not gonna say that you're banging the rim, but you're definitely <laughs> yeah. feeling the rim a little bit. Oh, definitely. In those, in those low PSI scenarios. Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks for following along. STF Racing, American Cyclocross. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to follow Katie. But for now, this is Chaz, 700 by 33 millimeter tires. Zip, STF Racing, making you faster.